Hi beard buddies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Kelly. Hi if you're new. Today I'm so excited to share with you guys my bead spinner. I ordered this off of Amazon and I thought we could do like a little unboxing so I can show you guys how it came but also how to use it. I recently posted a video where we make clay bracelets together and I mentioned how I use my bead spinner and a lot of you guys seem to be really interested in it which I'm so excited about so give this video a big thumbs up if you guys have a bead spinner or like watching videos on it. I'm so excited. I will try my best to have the exact one link down below. I do think it's in my Amazon storefront. I will put a pop-up on the screen in case you guys want to check it out. All you have to do is type in Kelly Prepster Amazon storefront on Google. It'll pop up. But if not, there's a link down below. And I'm just so excited. It came with beads. I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> but before we get started, be sure to use the hashtag Bead Buddies if you're making bracelets with me or if you want to get featured in the comment of the day at the end of my videos. I love our community of Bead Buddies. It seriously makes me so happy. So thank you so much for subscribing and being here. Of course, check out my website, kellyprepsterstudio.com. It's always linked down below. And last thing, I wanted to share with you guys the super cute bracelets that I am wearing today. I am obsessed. I made one similar to this in my video that I was talking about earlier. I'll insert a card to it. But let's Let's just get into the unboxing. So it came in this super cute little box and I'm so excited to open this up. And it has a box inside of it. Oops. And this is just kind of how it is packaged. So first things in here are some needles for bead spinning. Now I do want to say that I opened this up before I used one of the needles. I'm going to give you guys a big tip. The needles don't come like this. I bent my needle so it'd be like this and I find that that helps the most with catching the bead. Also came with a needle threader and it broke. <laughs> and it didn't break because it was cheap. I just, I just broke it. So I had to go to Joanne's. I have a haul to share with you guys. But Ooh, here is the bead spinner and it came with instructions and this is two pieces and it just slides in and you just twist this and you put the beads in there. So I'm going to set that down on my desk but it also came with a bunch of seed beads. It came with some elastic which is nice. Then it came with these little beads in these pouches so maybe we'll have to do an unboxing but they're just little seed beads. I think you can do any kind of bead in the bead spinner so again it came with tons of different colors. We got blue, teal, more orange, came with some little clasp for bracelets or necklaces and also some string and one of these things and I've never used one of these but this is helpful if you use jump rings. I personally like using split rings but that is everything in the box. One of the bags leaked and there's beads in here. So like I mentioned we're gonna use my clay beads so let's get those out. Okay and we will get my clay beads. These are from Amazon as well and they are on my storefront but they came organized like this which is so nice. So I'm just gonna put these on my desk. We are also gonna need some elastic. Of course I'm gonna be using my Go Create elastic. This is my favorite. I don't know if you guys can see this. I am almost out. Can you believe it? Thankfully I have more and this is just a Kelly Prepster Studio sticker that's on my site. I put it on top and I feel like it's so fun but I think this will be enough to make at least one or two more bracelets. Then we're gonna need some scissors so I'm just gonna close these up. I love my little kid scissors. They work perfectly. We will not need a tray and I also have to share with you guys my Joanne haul. So I went to Joanne's earlier because I needed a needle threader is what i believe they're called so they do have these in the beading section and i got six beading needles with a threader and 12 flexible beading needles i'm not 100 percent sure these are the exact same thing as what came with the bead spinner so these are a little bit different but i think these will be nice for making bracelets in general but i really just need it this little threader guy and then there's instructions on how to use it in the back which honestly is going to be a little bit more to the point than when I show you but I'm going to try my best. So I also picked up a organizer. I found one of these at a yard sale and I only paid one dollar and then I got a second one and I spent I want to say I think it was $7.99 so now I have two of them but I have a huge clay bead bracelet haul coming your way. I just ordered a bunch of new clay beads and needed an organizer so if you guys are excited about that let me know but let's get on to the bead spinner. Since I'm not planning on using any of the beads that came with the bead spinner right now, I'm just going to put them in the box. Just to make room, but I will find a home for those. Okay, so here's the bead spinner. I'll switch angles in a minute. 
So these are the hook needles that it came with that help put the beads on. I just want to show you guys. Mine came super curved. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I bent it and I'll show you guys how I did it to be more so straight. So this, I'm just gonna bend it like that. And I found that it caught the clay beads a lot easier. I haven't seen anything online about that, but I just wanted to show you guys before we got started because I was so frustrated because I couldn't figure out how to do it. In my first clay bracelet with the bead spinner, it literally took 37 minutes. I timed it. So if you struggle your first time, it's totally normal, but I just wanted to put this in here because everyone's a beginner once. Okay. So we're going to open this up because I need the letter. Okay, and we're just gonna follow these instructions. So we're gonna loop the threader through the eye of the needle. Then we're gonna put the elastic through this threader loop and pull it through. So I'm gonna set this right here so we can both see it. And I'm gonna grab my Kelly Prepster Studio elastic and I'm gonna use this needle. I'm trying my best for you guys to see this. So I'm just gonna thread this through the eye of the needle, just like that. And then we're gonna put the elastic through here. Now, if you have any experience with sewing, you might be familiar with this. And sometimes your elastic might just be too big. Oh, my elastic's too big. I just broke this threader. <laughs> I literally just went to Joanne's to get one of these. There's gotta be a way to fix this. Okay, we'll worry about that at a later date. I'm gonna get some thinner thread. We are switching over to my Stretch Magic. This is a 0.5 millimeter string, and we're just gonna try and eyeball this. All right, so we have the elastic through the hook needle, and I'm gonna keep it on the spindle of elastic like I always do. That's the hardest part of the whole process, in my opinion. So now we have an empty bead spinner, and we get to pick out our colors. So hopefully this is a good point of view. I'm thinking we should make an orange one since I haven't really used a lot of my orange clay beads. Oh my gosh, they're so cute, you guys. And I'm just gonna do a scoop of colors and I did watch a few tutorials on this and the more beads you have in the bead spinner the easier it is so I'm thinking we're gonna add some of this dark orange <laughs> these guys look like little sour peach rings So I put this much clay beads in here. Honestly, this is not a lot, but for this video, I think it'll be perfect. And essentially you just spin this and they all blend together. I love that this creates such a random pattern, especially cause I'm not really good at creating random patterns. So I'm so excited about this. But so then you're gonna be taking your hook the needle hook and you're gonna hold it like this and spin. So I'm going to get my camera to sit like this and show you guys. As you guys can tell, I already have a bit of a bracelet forming. The more beads you have in the bead spinner, it makes it so helpful. So I have this little needle and you guys can see it really well. I straightened it out a little bit. I'm holding it with my right hand and I'm spinning the bead spinner with my left. Now you don't want to touch this because it'll stop. So like that's how you stop it. But if you do that, it's not going to spin. And so if my needle is pointing this way, I want the beads to spin in the opposite way. So I'm gonna twist it this way. And then your needle, you don't want it to touch the bottom of the bowl, but just kind of glide. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm so new at this that it's taking me a really long time. 
but I think it just gets such beautiful results and it's just a lot of practice and I guarantee the more I do it I'm gonna get better and same goes for you guys but I really think it's worth every penny because it's so fun And you could pause too if you wanted to. Like, so say you have this much to put a fun charm on or something. I'm just gonna show you guys how to make a really simple clay bracelet, but I think it's so cute. I also think it'd be really fun because I know a lot of you guys make bracelets too. If you have any tips for people like me who are new to the bead spinner, let us know in the comments down below. Use the hashtag bead buddies. Let's be a bead buddy community and let's share what we know to help everyone else. I just think this is such a great tool and I think it's really fun and I hope you guys are enjoying it. All right, so I have officially enough beads on my elastic to make a bracelet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and cut them off and then I'm going to pull this out of the needle and here is my bracelet so I'm just going to tie it really quick and you guys it's going to be so cute So our bracelet turned out so stinging cute. I love it. It's so stretchy. And again, I do have a tutorial on how to tie knots on my channel. In case you guys want to check it out, all you have to type in is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make bracelets and tie the knot. And I just think these are so cute. I love the random pattern to it. I think it's really beautiful. And if you guys like that overhead shot, I got this new tripod. It's so cool. And I filmed it with my iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this beads spinner tutorial definitely takes a little bit of practice i'm still not my best at it but i'm hoping the more bracelets i make the better i get and it's so fun so i highly recommend checking it out again i will have it linked down below in my amazon storefront in case you guys do want to check it out be sure to leave a comment using the hashtag bead buddies if you are making bracelets with me which speaking of here is today's comment of the day thank you so much for using the hashtag bead buddies and leaving such a sweet comment on my site you guys seriously mean the world to me thank you so much for being part of this community definitely hit that subscribe button down below and i'll see you guys back here very soon with another new behind the scenes of kellyprepsterstudio.com video thanks for watching bye guys